Hey guys and girls, it's Lukas here from the yes to life show and today I'm going to talk about a special morning routine that had a huge impact on my life and I've been doing it for over 30 days now so this is my 30 day video and recap about it and I want to share this quickly with you it's the miracle morning routine from Hal Elrod from his book that with the same name it's called Miracle Morning <clears throat> and basically um, Hal Elrod is a super inspiring guy. I think I first heard about him from the Art of Charm uh, podcast where he was a guest and basically he got in a very terrible car crash at some point, almost died and uh, doctors told him he could never walk again, uh, let alone uh, continue his public speaking career and uh, let alone training of course, exercising and I think he ran a marathon afterwards even. And uh, what he did is that, I mean, we all know that um, successful people have their kind of routines, like a lot of people do meditation, a lot of people do visualization, affirmations, a lot of people do um, journaling, they read, they write. Um, but he thought about why not combine all of those together and put them in one package, so in one morning routine pretty much. And that's the Miracle Morning uh, routine. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It definitely had a huge impact on my life. What it basically uh, consists of, he uses the um, acronym SAVERS, which stands for a silence, uh, affirmations, visualizations, exercise, reading and scribing. And in total it's going to take about one hour, maybe a little bit more, maybe one and a half on the weekends if you have a little bit more time. And uh, so you're going to have to stand up, wake up a little bit earlier. but which you might think is going to be difficult in the first week maybe, but at some point it's definitely going to impact your life a lot. So let's talk about the benefits. So the benefits uh, that I noticed for myself is that I have a lot more energy uh, when I'm uh, at work, for example, even though I wake up earlier now than I used to because I, my morning routine is about one hour and 10 minutes. I'm much more, I'm full of energy and uh, I'm also more happy. Uh, sometimes I'm even a little bit um, scared at how happy I am. I don't know. It's so different than uh, I mean, it's not like I, I was sad before like depressed It's just that my baseline happiness definitely increased I would say so sometimes that uh, After a long 10 11 hour day usually I would be completely tired and then I still go to Thai boxing But I'm I feel like I feel like I'm dead almost and now I have so much energy afterwards so I have more energy and then when I'm at work in high stress situations when there's tough deadlines when I have a client meeting whatever then I definitely noticed that I also am much more relaxed and stressed out. Like you notice that a lot of the things we stress about don't really matter. And I guess that comes from the meditation part, but also from the exercise in the morning. It's the whole uh, combination of uh, things that you're doing in this challenge and in this morning routine. And um, yeah, so the main takeaways is you're going to be more energized. You have going to be more happy. Um, you're gonna be more calm throughout your day and in general you also when you go to sleep you're gonna look forward to your morning routine pretty much and also you're gonna be more grateful for what you already have in your life so what are the parts of the miracle morning challenge so the first is uh, silence um, which is meditation and basically you just sit in silence for 10 to 20 minutes. I mean, the Miracle Morning is not really set in stone. You can decide how many minutes you want to spend on each of those six elements. Um, I like to spend 10 minutes on meditation, where you just basically sit in silence. You can use the, um, what's the name again? You can use the Headspace app. Uh, Headspace app. You could use uh, Inside Timer, which is a great app. Um, and you can look up the Terra Brach Tara Brach, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. Tara Brach um, Vipassana um, in Introduction Meditation on Inside Timer, which is great. It takes about 15 minutes and she definitely takes it through a very nice guided meditation. So that's the first part, that's the silence. And the second part is the affirmations, where you basically um, you write down uh, affirmations. For example, it could be that you say, this is gonna be the best day, or oh, this is going to be a great day, um, only good things happen to me, um, I'm, I'm happy, I'm full of energy, I'm healthy, uh, I'm looking forward to today, I'm going to achieve X, X, Y, Z, you could say something, I want to be a successful YouTuber, I want to achieve X goal, um, 
etc etc like the options that you could use for your affirmations are pretty much limitless and you basically just repeat them over and over if you want you can also write them down um, what I do is just when I go into the shower I, I tell myself all the time like uh, today's gonna be a great day today's gonna be a great day today's gonna be a great day and uh, I'm full of energy I'm full of energy and fit I'm full of energy and fit so that that way when I go to the to the gym after work or when I go Thai boxing I'm also much more full of energy because I already told my body and my mind that I am actually full of energy. The next part is visualization, where you basically you sit down and you visualize, visualize what you want to achieve um, in the future. It could be on that particular day. It could be in uh, in a week. It could be short-term goals, long-term goals. It could be the Tony Robbins version where you visualize something that you're grateful for. So maybe you visualize your parents, your family, your friends, your job, your apartment. You look around and. Uh, or it could be just that you visualize what you want to achieve within the next year and that you already achieved those kind of things. For example, for me it would be that I visualize that I want to live back in Thailand again. I want to have my own small apartment in Thailand. Maybe live, uh, well preferably live from uh, like YouTube and coaching. And so I visualize that, that I'm independent, I don't work for a company anymore. I don't work in an office job anymore. I work uh, for myself and I try to help people build a community where everybody helps each other. And I live in Bangkok in my dream city where uh, I spent almost uh, one and a half years and it's been a great time and I really miss Bangkok. So I visualize that. I visualize being with all my friends in Bangkok again. Um, just listening to the, to the birds, uh, feeling the sun on my skin. Try to really, really visualize it deeply. Then the next thing is exercise. Um, you could do anything um, from sprint, anything that kind of pumps your state up. It could be sprinting, it could be a jump rope, uh, you could just do some push-ups. It doesn't have to be long, maybe five to 10 minutes, <clears throat> just to get your body moving a little bit. So you start the day right. For me, what I like to do actually is, I like to do a couple of rounds of sun salutation of yoga. So I'm just doing basic sun salutation and I do that for about 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes. And uh, I also do a cold shower afterwards just to shock my system and uh, get my mind right. And then reading, uh, that's actually my main part. Um, I like to read about 20 to 30 minutes in the morning. And uh, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just choose a book that, you, that you're interested in in the morning. I like to read something um, motivational. So at the moment I'm reading The Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. And uh, it's a great book. It's pre it pretty much reads like a lot of his interviews just in a small book. So it's a lot of condensed knowledge that you have in your hand. And it's quite motivating in the morning. And it also every chapter is maybe like three or four pages. So it's not really like you have to remember any, like when you, when you, when you read a novel, for example, and then you can only read 10 pages and then you want to know what, it, what goes on afterwards. Or with almost any other book, it's like that as well. But with the Tim Ferriss show, it's just like you read about one person and then if you want, you can just stop. So in the end, it's not really like uh, you carry that with you in the, in the rest of the day. And then you also have um, scribing, which is another word for writing. And it just basically means like some, in this case, it would be journaling. So you would write down, in my case, I write down my goals for that day. I, I write down my goals. Um, for the year, which I already told you earlier in my visualization, is going to living in Thailand, being completely independent, being con location independent, and also my goal is in the end to, I want to live in summer, I want to live in Europe again, and then throughout the other nine months of the year, I want to live in Thailand, <clears throat> and maybe also sometimes South America or whatever. And you also can write on, what I write on is also what I'm grateful for at this moment, and basically that's pretty much it. The way you structure it is completely up to you. Because for me, is if I use the regular version, the Sabres, uh, it doesn't really work. Because when I wake up, I try it and when I wake up and I do uh, meditation right afterwards, I fall asleep. That's just the way it is. I'm too, I don't know, I'm too tired already at that point. And then when I sit down to, to be calm, it doesn't really work. So I need to get my body moving first. And then I can also feel when I, when I close my eyes, I can feel the energy flowing through my body. So I start with reading, then I do yoga, and then I do um, silence. Then I'm already sitting there, I'm doing the visualization, then I'm walking around, maybe eating something, and going to the shower, and I'm doing the affirmations. And then I write down, for five minutes I sit down, and I write down my goals. And so in my case it would be 
So in my case, it would be a res vas. So reading, exercise, silence, visualization, affirmations, and scribing. And basically, uh, you can adjust it in any way you want. What I like to do is uh, reading about 20 to 30 minutes. Then I do um, 10 minutes of exercise. Then I do 10 minutes of meditation. Then I do five minutes of visualization, five minutes of affirmations. But I mean, those five minutes is just a, something that I'm doing anyway. So if I go to the shower or I'm preparing my breakfast, and then I sit down for five minutes and I write and I describing part. And on the weekend, it's a little bit different. I read longer than I, than I uh, usually do. And I also do a little bit more yoga because I have more time. Um, but anyway, in total, it takes about one hour on the weekend, maybe one hour and 20 minutes. And uh, so you're gonna have to get up a little bit earlier, but at some point it's gonna pay. It's it's gonna pay up, because I mean in the book he also says that the first uh, ten days are gonna be the toughest, because you're not really used to getting up so early. Maybe you already are. I don't know, but in my case I wasn't. So the first ten days were kind of difficult, but even in the first week already I noticed that I'm actually looking forward to this morning, because it's so quiet. And the number one rule I would say for this morning is that you definitely don't look at your phone after waking up. Put it away. Don't look at it until you finish the practice because it's gonna fuck up your mind pretty much. You're gonna focus on the wrong things. Maybe you're gonna check WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Just put away your phone and then keep, uh, keep it until you're finished with the practice. Because I notice when I start my day with looking at the phone, I don't know, for some reason that carries on over the rest of the day and it completely fucks up my day. So if you start your day right, you get your mind right, your body right, then the day is also much better. And this routine definitely uh, achieves that. Even when I wake up and I'm completely tired, I'm kind of grumpy, I'm not feeling great, and I'm feeling today's gonna be a bad day. And then I do the routine and after that hour I'm feeling like, wow, today's gonna be a great day. And when I go out, I'm smiling. Um, I'm doing the loving kindness meditation afterwards that I, that I have in my other videos and I'm actually looking forward to going to work and looking forward to going to the gym and to Thai boxing and I'm much more compassionate I'm also more full of energy and positive and that's pretty much the result of this routine because it just gets your mind right in the morning and it sets the tone for the rest of the day all right so I hope you guys I hope you are going to try this challenge as well I wouldn't really call it a challenge but anyway I mean, it's a 30 day challenge. So the goal is pretty much to make it into a habit. And I can assure you that after 10 days, you already don't really want to miss it anymore. So I can only encourage you guys to try the Miracle Morning with me. And then please let me know how your challenge went. And you can put it in the comment section below. You can also uh, click on our Telegram. You can join our Telegram group where we support each other, where we write down our progress, everybody. And then we just let each other know for the, this month's challenges how it's going. And we all support each other on our progress pretty much. And uh, yes, thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice weekend. And please don't forget to subscribe. And also you can check out my other videos. This month's challenge, for example, is the no uh, shower challenge. A uh, cold shower challenge. It's the no fab challenge. It's the um, loving kindness uh, challenge, it's a so that's a gratitude uh, challenge. Then it's the door frame challenge, which is a body language challenge, a confident body language challenge. And it's also the um, jar of awesome from Tim Ferriss, which is also a gratitude challenge, where you write on uh, one thing a day that uh, you're grateful for on that day, or one thing that happened on that day that uh, was exciting. And uh, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, please click on the like button. Please click on subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have a good evening, guys.